Right, well, I'm delighted to say I'm now joined by the guys from the Mystery Jets. They've just come off the main stage. Um, what was that like? It's amazing. Yeah? Amazing, yeah. Incredible festival. It's great. Like, so often uh, when you play quite uh, early on in festivals in the day, you have to kind of warm people up. Mm. But I think at Latitude, there's just this wonderful vibrancy to the festival and everyone everyone's arrives with smiles on their yeah, faces. No, absolutely. It is. It's the Friday afternoon. Um, you know, people might not be shall we say as lubricated as what they will be kind of later on yeah. for, for some of the acts and yeah. I presume you know, you, you know what it's like maybe it could be a little bit harder to get the crowd going but they were yeah. really going for it yeah. today weren't they yeah. Yeah. yeah we didn't need to work very hard at all they were they were they were uh, circle pitting yeah. in the first song yeah. so it was great they're right they're right at the beginning of this latitude adventure that they're all on and that's you know so they're, they're, they're in good spirits and talking of that latitude adventure um, this isn't your first time here is it no we've no. been many times yeah <laughs> why do you keep coming back I've actually been just as a punter a couple of times, and as well as playing, and I really like it. Mm. It's a beautiful festival, and I've seen it when it was a little, tiny little yeah. festival. I mean, it's and, grown, hasn't it, so much over yeah, the years. Yeah, but in a good way. Mm. I think it's grown in a good way, and there's, there's still a really nice environment and atmosphere for people to just have a good time. And it's just, it's just you know, great music. Yeah. We mainly people. come for the coloured sheep. Which, which I haven't spotted yeah, this they year. Are, I've never spotted. I have. They I have. I, have, I think they're, they're further on down there. Maybe they've been retired. I, I, I've, I've seen. I've, I, know, I know they're here. So we'll back have to their colourful meadow. <laughs> um, so as you said, all the things that make Latitude kind of a little bit different, a little bit special. Um, it's beautiful surroundings, mm. isn't it? Um, the comedy stuff as well. Mm. I speak to the comedians, and they say that this is the one place that they keep coming back to mm. every year because it's just got that different vibe to the whole thing, hasn't mm. it? Um, you said you're going to hang around for the whole weekend. Mm. Um, probably find you in the woods later on, having a few drinks. Is that the plan? We'll we were just talking about the, the mythical woods, actually, which yeah. is situated just Ed behind Sheeran us. Ed seems to turn up in there most years as well. We've driven ahead. Yeah, Does last he really? couple of years he's, he's appeared. Yeah, we were just saying we've lost many, a, many, a, many an evening in those woods. Yeah. yeah. You've looking, got to be careful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting getting stuck in this evening and partying with everyone. Because normally at festivals you are quite in and out, but I think yeah. this is this is something on the festival calendar that we always yeah, look forward to. that's brilliant because as you say, you know, when we speak to most uh, bands after they've just been on stage at a big festival, they're straight on the tour bus and then heading off somewhere else. So I think that's really cool that you guys are staying for the whole weekend. Talking about kind of latitude uh, yeah. reasons why we love it last year we had um, some headliners they were the Maccabees and they're yeah. you're good friends of those guys you've just done yeah. kind of their farewell tour and um, what, what kind of about that you know it's, it's a bit kind of rare isn't it for a band to actually do a, an actual farewell and actually say look we, we're going to stop usually kind of just kind of slowly kind of disappear but what, what was your kind of thoughts on that because I know you're good friends with them well it was really sad but also it was a real honour and privilege to be asked to, yeah. to, to support them on that and be the main support and I just think we just feel very grateful that we were there to witness that and you know they're wonderful people yeah. and we love that band dearly we love all their records and they came out at the same time as us so we're sort of we, we were sort of north of the river they were south of the river and we're kind of we're on the just same sort of, journey we're basically yeah. north London south London versions of each other yeah. Yeah. I, that's how I see it divided by the Thames. Divided by I, I, I think it's very honourable, you know, for a band like that to sort of bow out yeah. at their absolute peak. And I, I yeah, because people were surprised, weren't they? Because they'd just done their first headline show, and then they said, "Look, you know, we're, we're not going to do it anymore. We're, we're done." And people were obviously very surprised by well, that. I think that's fantastic. You know, they've 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 decided to make a very concise musical statement, and I I have a huge amount of respect for that. Yeah. Um, so it was, as Will said, it was absolute privilege to be there for their for their final farewell shows. And you know, the last one at Alexandra Palace. Anyone who was there watching this will um, will agree with us that yeah. it was an incredibly emotional moment, and we were all choking <laughs> back the tears yeah. as they played the final notes of Pelican. Um, but you know, they're 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 a fantastic band. They've meant a huge amount to all of us as fans and as you know as peers. So. Uh, we I couldn't tell whether I was sweating or crying. Yeah. Yeah. Sweating out of your eyes. Well. Well, they, they taste a bit different, don't they? <coughs> they do taste that, a bit that's, different. That's the yeah, salty sweat's stuff, not, yeah. not the good <laughs> yeah. stuff. But anyway, that's about that. Um, back to you guys. Um, what can we expect from you in terms of touring? What, if people want to come out and go see you guys, what, what have you got on for the rest of the year? Well, there's something we're doing called Jet Retrospective, yeah. which is five nights yes. at the reopening of the garage in London. Okay. And we're playing an album on each on each night. night. So, so five nights, five albums. So if people were particular fans of a particular album, yeah, they, they can pick a certain night and go see that. That's yeah. awesome. That's different. Yeah. What made yeah. you decide to do that? I think it was just a chance to kind of revisit our sort of... Uh, I guess like 
the head spaces yeah. we were in at different points. Because often do like anniversaries, they say 10 years after a, a huge album, they'll, they'll play yeah. that album in four as a gig. But if you decide, look, we've got five albums, we're going to do one for each night. Well, we've always, we've always liked to challenge, and I think the challenge of learning about 58 songs yeah. <laughs> was one that was just too good to turn down. Yeah. Um, we've no idea how we're actually going to start preparing for it probably leave it to the last moment in true mystery jet style but mm. it's great eh? you know it's gonna it's gonna be chaos but hopefully beautiful chaos no i'm sure it'll be absolutely awesome guys it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much for taking out the time to speak to us joe enjoy latitude yeah thanks mate thank you